And we're so happy that today uh, we have the opportunity to truly obey the Lord, the Great Commission, to baptize, to teach and to baptize uh, people to follow the Lord. Well, baptism is a public confession of a faith in Christ. As wedding is to marriage, so is baptism to our trust in Jesus Christ. When somebody is being baptized, uh, baptism is a declaration of his commitment to Jesus Christ. Believing that Christ will protect him, will care for him, and uh, that the Lord will truly guide him in all his ways. So even as we, we, as we observe the baptism of these 10 young people who will follow the Lord, uh, it is also a good reminder for us. Please kindly recall what you have promised the Lord when you were baptized. And this is a good time for you to renew the commitment to Him as well. But also it calls for uh, a commitment from the church to also pray for these uh, young people who will follow the Lord uh, through baptism. Okay? So uh, let's continue to pray for them and enjoy them even as we have this baptism uh, this uh, morning. First, we have Carl Farillon. Carl, have you received Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Do you promise to be faithful and loyal to Him yes. all the days of your life? Yes. Because of your promise, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Why be have you received Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes, I do. Do you promise to be faithful and loyal to Him all yes. the days of your life? Because, because of your promise, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Have you received Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes, I do. Do you promise to be faithful and loyal to Him yes. all the days of your life? Yes, I do. Because of your promise, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Have you received Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Do you promise to be faithful and loyal to Him all the days of your life? Because your promise, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay. Have you received Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Do you promise to be faithful and loyal to Him all the days of your life? Because of your promise, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alex, have you received Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Do you promise to be faithful and loyal to Him all the days of your yes. life? Yes. Because of your promise, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Again, have you received Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes. You promise to be faithful and loyal to Him all the days of your life. Because of your promise, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Uh, Meaning, have you received Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Promise to be faithful and loyal to you yes. all the days of your life. Yes. Because of your promise, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jam, have you received Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Do you promise to be faithful and loyal to Him all the days of your life? Because you have promised, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay. Leonard Matulak. Uh, he's uh, actually being enrolled at the College of Theology right now. 
Say, Leonard, have you received Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Do you promise to be faithful and to be loyal to Him all the days of your life? Because you will promise, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Shall we pray? Lord, it is our joy to obey you and also to disciple this, your children into following you. I pray, Lord, that you specially protect them even as they grow in their relationship with you, even as they got to know you more and love you more and trust you more and obey you more. I pray, Lord, that this church will just be faithful to pray for them and set us a good example so that their spiritual growth will indeed be hastened as they observe them. Lord, we just commit these, your children, to your care. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.